From nothing, God created the world and everything in the world. He created light, the land, plants, and animals. He saw that all he had made was good. God said, Let us make human beings in our image. Make them reflecting our nature, so they can be responsible for the fish in the sea, birds in the air, and yes, earth itself, and every animal that moves on the face of the earth. God formed man out of dust from the ground. He took a handful of soil and blew into the man's nose, and the man came alive and started breathing. Then God planted a garden in Eden in the east. God made all kinds of trees grow from the ground, trees beautiful to look at and good to eat. From Eden, a river flowed out to water the garden. Then it divided into four rivers. God took the man he had made and put him in the Garden of Eden to farm the land and take care of it. God said, it's not good for the man to be alone. God brought the animals to the man to see what he would call them. Whatever the man called, each creature became its name. The man gave names to all the tame animals, to the birds in the sky, and to all the wild animals. But the man named Adam did not find a companion who was right for him. So God made Adam fall into a deep sleep. While he was sleeping, God took one of his ribs and replaced it with flesh. God used the rib that he took from Adam to make a woman, and he brought her to the man. Hey, Adam! Adam! Wake up! The man exclaimed, Finally! Here is someone like me! I will call her woman, because she was made from man. God created human beings, reflecting God's nature. He made them male and female. He blessed them, saying, Prosper, fill the earth, take charge. Then God said, I have given you all kinds of fruit and grain to eat, and I have given all the green plants as food for every animal. This will be their food. God saw all that he had made, and it was very good. Another day passed.